Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you what tomato fruit cracking looks like. Talk to you about why it happens, how you might prevent it, and also discuss how you deal with it in containers and also if you have your tomatoes planted in the ground. These are two varieties of determinate tomatoes. That means the plant grows to a set height. It flowers generally close to the same time over a couple weeks period and it, all the fruit gets set at once. These are cherry type tomatoes, they're a little bit bigger. This is my Kimberly variety. Over here is a Matina variety and I want to show you those tomatoes first. They've both been fed and watered in the same way and you can see right down there the cracking that's occurring in the fruit. As we come over here you can see more cracking, more cracking. It just rained a lot in the last two days and again earlier today. That's another cracking. You can see how it exposes the inside of the tomato. But just about every tomato on this variety has cracked. One thing you want to keep in mind is to look at the varieties you buy and if you get a variety that cracks or doesn't do well in your environment, don't grow it next year. And I won't be growing this one next year. It tastes great, but with my environment and with the way it rains, here it cracks. Even up top there you can see a lot of cracking. It is not a nutritional issue. You're not doing anything wrong. It doesn't need Epsom salt. It doesn't need fertilizer. It doesn't need anything. It's just a fruit variety that cracks. And why do I say it's just a fruit variety that cracks? These are in 10 gallon containers and they have, uh, they're in containers that have holes in them. So when I water it, I f it you know, fills up the top of the container, the water drains out. So the water stays fairly even. But what happens is, is when the heat comes, even in one day, especially now it's August 20th, from mid-July up through now, the soil dries out pretty quickly. I water it that day or the next day. The plant just quickly absorbs water and the fruit can't handle it. So the ripe fruit just swells from the water and it cracks and it's just a variety that cracks more. In contrast, here is uh, a Kimberly tomato and you can see it's also a determinative variety. The fruit is not cracking as much. This is a variety that has had the same exact watering as the tomato I just showed you. If you look in here you can see one tomato that is cracked and that's a little bit overripe. A lot of these have to be picked and you can see ants crawling in there and a couple more cracks up there. But generally speaking this tomato is doing a lot better with fruit cracking. Now some of the ways that you can prevent it is pick the fruit when it does get ripe because sometimes it tends to crack more when the fruit has ripened and then the soil dries out somewhat and then water comes either from you putting it in the container or rain coming, it'll just crack. If you have tomatoes in the ground, you can prevent this better because you would make sure that you're watering your tomato plants regularly. And if you have consistent regular watering, the plant tends to do better moving the water up through the root system to the plants to the tomatoes and then they just seem to crack less. But if any t period of you know drying out soil then a hard soaking rain, if you have a variety like this Matina it's going to crack. Hope you enjoyed the video, understand a little bit about what fruit cracking is, know that it's not because you're doing something wrong nutritionally and also understand that some tomatoes may be more prone to fruit cracking and therefore you may not want to have them in your garden next year. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.